morning, Virgo, and welcome to your Angels and Spells reading for this week. I call it Angels and Spells because I'm using the Angel Tarot cards and the Spellcasting Oracle cards. Whoa. Okay. So we have this and this. And let's see. Are there any other messages for Virgo? Remember, keep it concise. Aha, thank you. There you go. Okay, so what'd you get, Virgo? Oh, I love it. The world. A job well done. Joy, contentment, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. You know, this is the one where usually the woman is naked and coming out. And I feel like this is you. I think that you are on a new path. And uh, I think it's going well. And that's what this is saying, in that... You should stay on it because it will bring you joy and contentment. It's a good thing. And you got the Knight of Water, which is the Knight of Cups. Emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative. Could be a water sign. Could be someone with a water sign in their chart. Falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. An invitation to a social event. Wow, very nice. So you are working on yourself, presenting, the beginning to present a new you, and now you are having invitations and proposals, and I feel like it's having a really good effect on you. The queen of earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Now, Queen of Earth, could you be you, Virgo? Are you making time for those around you? Being sensible and dealing with challenges in a kind and understanding manner? I feel like this is definitely for some Virgo out there who that's the difference in the world, is that maybe they weren't as patient or as kind and they are learning to be that. And because of it, it is bringing, you know, falling in love, proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. I think that by changing how you react is bringing much more positive things into your life. So let's see, Virgo. Let me get a spellcasting oracle card for Virgo. Spellcasting oracle card for Virgo. Okay, five, four, oh, there it is. Reconciliation. So, reconciliation. Now, I'm always drawn to the fact that there are two people and one's got a dark top and a light bottom and the other one's the opposite. And when we talk about the world, it's almost like, I want to say there's like that yin and yang, like a coming together of your two parts. Like maybe you've only been showing one part to the world and now you've decided to show the other part. And that's that part, that night of water, that's that warmth and the queen of earth. You know, they're caring and warm and there's, there's love. It's a different approach. And so the reconciliation is maybe learning how to live life um, as all of you, not restricting yourself to the one face that you've been showing the world. So looks, looks great. Um, I would love to hear if, if you've had any proposals or relationship changes in the comments. Thank you very much for being here. Good luck. And remember, Virgo, take time for you. Bye-bye.